Hi, hi hello, welcome. Welcome back to another Uncrest video. Welcome back to another unedited Souls and Survivors video. Back in the final map. Wait, this is not the final map. Either way, we're gonna need the materials that every map represents or that every map gives us. So it's no biggie that we chose the wrong map because we're gonna, we're gonna need to play every map either way. But I'm a bit confused. I'm also a bit silent because my girlfriend's already sleeping. But I am mostly a bit confused because just before pressing the record button, I pressed the stop record button and deleted my previous recording because the game crashed. That's, I think, the first time Soulstone has ever crashed on me. So I am a little bit confused as to what happened right there. We're playing with the Elementalist today and we are playing on a higher curse level than I initially set out it set out to to play at because i will didn't change the curse difficulty because i thought we would be playing on the last map again where the curse difficulty would already be okay would already be turned down a lot just because we are purely purely looking for the materials now but here we are here we are with quite the high curse difficulty something we were actually not looking for at all but i'm not gonna look a given horse in the mouth and we're just gonna roll with it we're gonna try and complete this run and we should be able to succeed, right? The Elementalist with the unupgraded weapon. So we are purely relying on the lightning beam for now. Lightning or lighting? Lightning beam. Lightning beam would be a bit weird. A bit of a weird word choice. This build takes a little bit to come online, of course. Because right now we are just dealing a very, very small amount of raw damage. And we are not really equipped to apply a whole bunch of negative effects yet. Which we will hopefully be able to later on in the run. But in this stage, in this early hour, we are still just relying on getting some of these smaller enemies down. In the hopes of getting enough levels to actually get our first, like poison application or even some of the synergetic abilities already because we are definitely definitely in the need of quite a lot of more damage and otherwise we are just going to be in a lot of trouble rather quickly we are already are in a little bit of trouble if you ask me hopefully these goblins will help us out a little bit by providing some easy experience but in general we are just getting damaged quite a lot and we don't have the capacity to kill enemies quickly enough or to get rid of them quickly enough either I was looking for something like that, another beam. I think that is the best approach for us right now. Immediately try and get as many beams out there as possible. And then as soon as possible also get as many negative effect applications out there as possible. We got the healing crystal which is nice because we were in need of some healing already. Because as I just told you guys this build is coming online rather slowly. I'm quite tired today. This is definitely going to be the only video I record right now. It's quite late in the evening already. It's like half past 11. But I, this is literally like the only free time I have today. It was a working day where I had my first client at 8 in the morning. And I had to give a group session up until 8.30 in the evening. Our first revive is popped already. This is going to be such a shit run. In general, if you don't know anything about the job I am in or about jobs in general, that is an insanely long work day. That it's a bit more than 12 hours of work. And that is a bit of an exaggeration on my part for dramatic effect because of course I didn't work consistently all the way through for more than 12 hours. But I did have like just a very, very long day. In reality, I had quite a lot of breaks in between because my clients were spread out nicely but still it just felt like an insanely insanely tiring day and that's why there's only a room for one video right now and that's gonna be it i'm not gonna go too crazy and i'm just gonna accept that i have kind of reached my limit of being productive for today we don't want any of these i guess we will go with that vortex for now uh, damage increase for the electric is fine but I think we want to... Ooh, Poisonous Blood. We're already getting into the better stages now. Now that our synergetic abilities have come online. Girlfriend also had quite a busy day. That's why she is asleep already. And she told me like, hey, I was a bit tired this morning. So I want to go to sleep a little bit earlier than yesterday. And I commend her for that. I have the same, definitely. As I said, after this video, it is straight to bed for me. Because I just... I feel that my eyes want to be closed. I'll definitely... 
close my eyes but not necessarily close my ears immediately i'll definitely still listen to something podcast related a dr k video just whatever i'll definitely still listen to something maybe not online solving some trivia wordle type quizzes online but i need to have something in my ears and i assure you that i am actually trying my best i am not getting hit this often just because i want to go to sleep but this build <laughs> we need some like movement speed or some health or defensiveness quickly because we just don't have any of the tools needed to survive a bit longer in the souls and survivors universe first set of lords here i think we will do quite some damage onto them if we can actually hit them consistently but right now we need to get rid of some of the towers on this map because there is just not a zone for us to stand in at all. We need to be dodging all the time. It's not easy. Don't really need any of these. Some more attack speed to apply even more negative effects is definitely what we are looking for. But all in all, in general, we are just still looking for a lot of things. A lot of run enablers. Maybe not enablers because the run is kind of enabled we have something to work with already but we need something to strengthen our run as quickly as possible because otherwise we will be down in the gutter in a couple of seconds it was quite a fulfilling day at work though client this morning went a okay the second client also actually was a, a very second revive but a very nice session a bit of an emotional one though then the third client started off a bit awkwardly because i was like oh yeah how is it to be back here because it's been like three or four weeks right and she was like mm, i was here last week and i was so confused in the end i realized that i wrote the wrong date at the top of her previous session at the top of her previous session report and that's why i was confused but it still was a little bit of an awkward opening to our session together i think i was able to kind of redeem myself by actually providing quite a good session of psychotherapy for her or psychological counseling in reality because i can't call it psychotherapy yet and then the final session of the day was an intake conversation and that actually went swimmingly in my opinion but there is an intake so i mean i would say you can't really do much wrong with that you can definitely do quite a lot of things wrong with that but once you're used to it a little bit and you know what to expect from it you know what's important to ask then it's quite quite easy really it's not the hardest thing to do anymore uh, we are about to lose this run by the way if we are not careful for some reason we just movement speed is going to help us out a little bit i should have gone for more movement speed and defensive upgrades already i don't even really know what hit me there but i do know that if we get hit once more this run will just already be over and it will be one of the shortest souls and survivors videos this channel has probably ever seen just because of the fact that i am a bit of a doofus and i didn't check whether we were playing on the right map at all just keep on running away please oh we need to dodge everything on our path right now again getting hit by one thing means the end of us a level up would be nice because that provides us with a little bit of healing but on this curse level it's not a lot of healing either and it's quite hard to get enough xp because we are not killing that many enemies come on please yes all right a little bit of healing at least some more movement speed that's gonna help us out definitely let's try and circle back a little bit get into the range of even more of these experience orbs an additional dash would also be very welcome oh there's a nice mountain of xp here there we go leveled up again Banish Leviathan because that is definitely not something we are going to be investing in in this run because we are not strong enough to warrant an upgrade like that. Alright, we charged up our health a little bit again on the healing crystals. Not to be confused with charging up your JO crystals which is definitely something you also need to pay a lot of attention to. A little Game Grumps reference in there. So you got that one, seven respect points. Yeah, seven respect points. That seems like a, a valuable amount and a warranted amount for such a niche reference, really. I think it's probably one of their most well-known segments, one of their most well-known clips, the story about a dude talking about his J.O. crystal and the awesome sesh he had with the boys. <laughs> but still, it's not something everybody will definitely know about. I think probably some Game Grumps fans will not even know about that because it is quite an old moment as well. Might? Do we need might? Yeah, I guess we definitely don't need that vortex, so might might be better. Resilient. 
little engine sound right there on the outside tomorrow weekend but first of all six more clients and five of them are in a row so it's going to be quite a busy day as well i've had a uh, busy week six on monday six on tu tuesday today then four and the group session and tomorrow six again it's a week where i have definitely made quite a lot of money not that that's my primary goal but it's just definitely gonna do the opposite of make a dent in my financial situation it's gonna actually provide a nice buffer a nice bit of extra money but it is gonna be a week where i definitely worked hard for that money as well invested a lot of time and effort and it reminds me that i still need to actually prepare my conversations for tomorrow morning but i am just gonna do that tomorrow morning because i i can't get myself to do it right now and it wouldn't be the greatest preparation either we are still like doing okay though after getting smacked around for a couple of times beforehand now we are playing a little bit better playing a little bit with some thought in our gameplay as well and it always helps out you know thinking about things instead of just doing them the one thing i am not thinking about right now is my commentary and i can definitely notice that, that it was actually like an extremely bad idea to start recording now but hey here i am here i am still doing it why is it a bad idea because my brain is absolutely fried it is worn out it's <laughs> it's been a little bit too much today no no it's not been too much i can definitely still still carry it i still have the resilience to be able to actually go on with my day a little bit but not to do such a cognitive activity as record youtube videos that were just a bit optimistic on my end I wonder if we're actually going to be able to finish this run with a victory or if we are going to get smacked around by the game a bit too hard and the run is going to come to an abrupt end in a couple of minutes or even seconds. Either way, we are at 12 minutes already right now, so the run has definitely not ended as quickly as I first expected it would. So that's always a nice sign. Read a little bit in my book about existential therapies today, a little bit about logo therapy and about specific techniques there, and also about the criticism people have of Frankl's logo therapy. It's a therapy focused greatly on meaning, and the criticism people have is like, how can you be so sure that life is inherently meaningful, and that people for sure need to like look for that meaning? We just we just got slapped right on our face. Not the greatest run, but also not the run I set out to do. Actually, I wanted to. I really thought I pressed this, but I guess nothing further from the truth. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go straight to bed. I am just dead. Bye-bye. <laughs>